been shown around this little business that um, makes terracotta ornamentations and there's some other nice little mobiles but this really impressive fabulous terracotta I think we're going to run out of light as we go through but I'll pick it up um, pick it up as it brightens no, these are for the little clay pots for light the, the lights um, what did you say that they used to make little lamps out of them yeah for Diwali you put the oil in then you wick and you light it uh, yeah just yeah. a very basic lamp yeah look, he's super oh look the potter is putting the the handle on this rather beautiful vase making it look easy <laughs> as with all people of great skill he's making it look like a breeze yeah. <laughs> If I started learning, I might be able to do that in about six years. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Look at that, and that's the clay being extruded out of the out of the press. Wow! So it's fed in like a sausage machine and it comes out like a sausage. But that's raw ter terracotta clay. Another guy putting a handle on, making it look easy. Lovely work. Super stuff. And uh, let's take a look along this row of pots and going down towards the oven. They, they, they build this up and then fire it. Awesome stuff. I saw something very similar to this in Sri Lanka. Uh, it was a great big kiln on the side of the road and they were making Hindu things you could tell because it was the same as all this really Hindu ceremonial stuff wonderful this one here is that like a, a lantern or? yeah yeah pretty take you in on that nice lanterns and this is, uh, that looks like raw clay pots just drying out, ready to go in the kiln. And there's the one, all fired. It's got a nice mark on it. Yes, please. Yeah, you, you have to, yeah, like a sausage machine, right, a great big one. How many times do you have to put it through the extruder before it becomes workable? When it's raw clay, yeah. it's a little once, yeah. and then it for about a day. Yeah. And then after that we process it the next day for the guys to so twice. Twice? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If the clay is sandy and it can't work and it's like when it's stretching it and it's wasted, we process it up three times. Oh wow, wow, yeah. yeah. Once they find it alright, well then yeah. Yeah. Your potters know what they want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is remarkable. Super. That's the biggest sausage machine you'll ever see guys. There you go. Better than a Kenwood chef. <laughs> With just a straightforward Archimedean screw that just pushes it out the out the business end. There you go, and there he's carrying it off the finished product to the potter's table. Where it gets converted into magic. I'm going to mess up your car. 
Um, if you wanted to go near the oh. oven. I gotta walk the plank. Yeah, I think it's gonna bend. Is it? Yeah. It's not designed to take this kind of weight. No. There you are. I've got me. Whoa, hey! There's a wonderful smoky smell. But you can see how they've constructed it out of bricks and clay. And they'd stack it. They must get a lot of breakage then. And it looks like they use old pallets for firing the kiln. Which is a good use, good reuse. Of a scarce resource. So once again I have to walk the plank. On your own. On my own. <laughs>we're on the Batmobile in the Batmobile we're in the Batmobile the Bat, Bat's gas truck and we're going to Paramount awesome okay we stopped for lunch on the uh, on the way up and we got boiled chana one way or another Trini seemed to eat a lot of these chickpeas these chana and um, this is one of the nicest ways of eating them in a cup in a nice broth Nice um, sauce. With a nice sauce on top, nice um, what green chutney sauce or Bandana something. Bandana sauce. Uh, ba bandana sauce, yeah. yeah. So bandana being the, uh, I think it's, it's like a predominant flavour in a lot of Trini food, I think, bandana. And I can't think of a reasonable substitute, and I know some people say uh, coriander, but I, I don't think it quite cuts the mustard. There's only, sometimes I think only bandana will do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to enjoy this now, so speak to you later. Okay, this is the view. At level one. At level one, okay. on the way up to Paramin. And that's the view right outside the cab. Um, and looking out, the view is absolutely awesome. As far as the eye can see. As far as, it's awesome as far as the eye can see. And looking out that way. Um, I think I'm going to have to get a change of underwear when we get back though. <laughs> That's the view from up here. How beautiful, eh? That was one real white knuckle ride up the uh, up and down the. That was awesome. Awesome. That was a white knuckle ride. We call that. <laughs> 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 I think he did that on purpose for you to see a part of it. It was amazing. This is the uh, This is the view from the truck cab. This isn't the one of the high ones, this is a moderate one. And that's looking out over the over the bay down towards Port of Spain. You see all the tankers in the harbour down there. Oh, there's a raptor there flying. I don't know what it is. Nice. Like an eagle. I don't know if we can catch him. There you go. I don't know if we saw that. Maybe got a lucky. Yeah, let's see if you look at the road. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here's where the shit starts. Thank <laughs> you.
Awesome, look at that. Out there. Check this out for a road. Yeah, the Trinidad yeah, wait, is a complete and yeah, utter yeah, education, so guys and girls. Okay. This here really have very steep. Uh, is it? Very steep and very steep. Uh, they go before you, yeah? Yeah. Go sorry, come back. Go sorry, reverse we're back, we're going back. I just bring it to show you the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Right? All good. We're back up. That's that rough. Okay. Is that fennel or dill? Yeah, I think. Huh? Fennel. Yeah. It looks like fennel. It's got a light like, licorice flavour. The dill's good with fish, real good with fish, especially salmon. Okay. films but <laughs> can I see the bottle yeah thank you yeah. paramin yeah. um, I want to take two back as well is this the standard sauce the ordinary sauce do you do more than one kind that one What's that one? This is green seasoning. Green seasoning? Yeah. Caribbean green seasoning? Yes. Yeah, With a Trini, Trini twist, right? <laughs> Special Trini twist. Yeah. This is Highland Trinidad green seasoning. <laughs> Flavoured with the finest bandana, side. Side. Everything, everything that grows on these wonderful mountains, yeah? Yeah, everything yes, yes. Grows. Super. Yeah. Super. <laughs> so you're doing this batch now? You're finished. You're okay. just finished. These yeah. are. And these are little bottles. Swarm. Oh wow! Yeah. Right. Don't That's put super. me on nothing. I just take your pictures, not me, no. <laughs> not an arm. Um, I swear this nothing. this bottle of green seasoning is absolutely warm. Boys and girls, you're gonna love that. <laughs> Fabulous. And that's made with produce straight off this mountain. Yes, as you see, as you see, I'm not completely bad. It don't get better than that. <laughs> So if you're brave enough to come up the mountain in Par Paramin, you can come and get some of this straight from the place it's made. Is it available in retail outlets in yes. Trinidad? Yeah. So I have 
Yeah, yeah, the Masi store, Subali store, Sing Chong. Yeah. Yeah, we we yeah. here island wide in the northern part of the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. Well, there's, uh, it, Trinidad's a place full of superlatives as far as I'm concerned. It's amazing. Great people, great food, great topography. A wonderful place. See you again, Hope. Thank you. Bye now. So, how are your friends? But you alone, you alone the stop, yeah? Yes. But you want to let me see you. Totally takes your breath away. Walk out, walk across. Walk across. Just keep walking. Yeah. Can you just wait to get on with the road now? And right down there, look at that. Steep. Let me come back this way. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And you believe And that's the drop from just below our feet there. Check that out. <laughs> The summit of that one's obscured by cloud. That's the one rain cloud in Trinidad. It just moves around, dumps a bit of rain here, moves on. Just when you thought you were the highest point in Trinidad, you look up and there's some crazy guy working on the scaffold, on the infrastructure, fixing the radio antenna. How about that? And to crown it all, we came up that white knuckle ride in a gas truck. <laughs> Loving it. Watch that, he's coming up and up. There's a couple of scattered islands looking down the steep mountain on one side. Headland over there. There's a barbecue lime station right here. Down to the little car park. It's just incredibly beautiful, incredibly beautiful. You can see all down the coastline right from here. Awesome. That's one of the uh, vultures. It's like a scavenger or something. What do you call it? Cobble? Black. Black cobble. When he's born, born lily white. He's born white. White. Lily white. Lily white. Grows, change color. And then he changes to this dingy color. Like. And that's a couple flying up there, I guess. Yeah. See your house down there with the yellow roof. <laughs> like that little islet. I wonder who lives on there, some rich git. <laughs> and it's like being air conditioned up here as well, isn't it? You know, it's, it's cool and because it's so high up, it's dropped a couple of degrees in temperature. And the only company we got up here are those uh, those buzzards. Are we going to buy some provision? Are we going to buy some provision? Right by the silence. You good? No. Sorry. Amazing. Compete, what want to do? Yeah. So good. So good. I have to turn that round to get a selfie look. Yeah, it, it does the selfies that way. There you go. And local. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. This is a type of local food. Good, right good. Now. Good thing. The fish big from here to about here. Huge, huge. Yeah. Ask feet, the fish that we saw today in the market. Ah. I don't know. Long, that was the length or the good? It looks like life clings to just about anywhere in Trinidad. I can't come and see you in the clouds as soon as you ask me this
right out there you can just make out a spur of land that's actually the Venezuelan coastline right there there you go in the distance where Trinidad at closest is only seven miles from Venezuela yeah okay this um, rather impressive tree is known as Bacano leaf and uh, what did you what was it you saying about it it's, it's great for a significant amount of um, ailments yeah uh, including cold and fever and, and pregnant um, people who are pregnant yeah. um, who have had a child it's good for them for cleaning out purposes and so on but, right um, I don't have the whole story on it there's quite a lot of other um, reasons why to take it for health purposes so you should check it out okay interesting thanks yeah. Yeah. We've stopped coming down the hill, just dropped off the summit and we thought that's a rather spectacular view looking down again. That's looking down to Port of Spain, right? Border Spain in the distance. Beautiful.